Yo, how's it going? All right, so here I'm opening the STL and mesh mixer. Uh, the first thing we have to do is align it so that when we add the supports, the, the system knows which way is up and down. Um, as you can see, you can put you know the x-axis, y, or z-axis up, um, and as long as we have the translate and rotate option selected to translate and rotate, we're, we're good to go. So I put z up, and then now I'm going to turn translation on and rotation off. Um, and as you can see, it just pretty much does exactly what we want. Um, if you think that's too easy, it's because it is. Um, there's like a base point and a center point. You can decide what you want to put at like the the origin. So here you can see um, when you when you select surface point, um, you get this little you know I don't know what those things are called, but axis thing, and it's uh, pretty much translating the thing that's at your mouse to that red dot. Um, so when we go back to base point, it it does exactly what we want, and yeah, that's just what you need to do to align it. So from here on out, we want to um, add overhang or add supports. Um, and yeah, so since the units are wrong, we have to change the units. Um, I always forget how to do that. Yeah, so select inches. Um, and we don't want to convert because if it converts, then it's not going to change the size. But now that we've converted, it's actually going to like read the five that is in the unitless STL file as inches instead of as millimeters. Um, as you can see, it's much, much bigger now. The, it almost takes up the full build plate. So go ahead and set the overhang to uh, pre presets because they're pretty good. I don't know why it, like, it like gets off the presets, but yeah, it takes a little bit of time to generate supports. It's doing all the math and stuff, um, and boom, there we have them. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what Mesh Mixer is doing by coloring them different. Um, I think it means that they're like they're somehow separate, but I don't know. I don't really know what that means. So anyway, export the STL um, with like a new kind of naming scheme, just you know, because it makes sense. We're done with Mesh Mixer now. Now we just want to slice it in Prusa. So fire that up. Uh, Prusa is going to convert it to inches for us, which it didn't used to do. So it's actually like super cool that it does that. It makes developing in inches a lot easier. Um, as you can see, it just is a normal thing ready to slice. Um, we don't have to align it, but if we did have to align it, um, you could use the like surface tool. I, I forget what it's called. Uh, I think sur surface to face. Um, and that's it. Yeah. With the supports attached, just slice. And there you have it.